This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2010 Dodge Ram 2500 crew cab short bed. It's a 6.7 turbo diesel. It's four wheel drive. It's in a Laramie. It has extremely low miles, 92,107 actual miles. Um, it was a uh, dealer traded into the Earnhardt uh, Ford Group in Phoenix. Uh, beautiful truck. Uh, we do an inspection when we get it here. Inspection looks like this. It says, uh, previous owner took good care of this very nice uh, of this very nice lift very nice tuner clearly the previous owner reinstalled original wheels when he traded it in brand new factory wheels and tires so those are probably the wheels he took off before he put on the lift and the previous wheels that he took off when he traded it in um, they're brand new uh, no dry rot they had them inside obviously on their side they're beautiful um, uh, clearly the previous owner reinstalled the wheels, traded it in, blah, blah, blah. All it needed was a detail and brand new tire sensors. The batteries had died in the tire sensors, so we had to put those in. Um, also, uh, it's tuned. EGR and CAT are deleted. Arizona buyers will be required to pay $450 to install CAT in order to pass inspection at emissions. If you need a CAT, let us know and we will add $450. Know your state's rules, please. If you're a diesel person, you know exactly what I'm talking about, why it's deleted. They run a lot better. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Anyway, uh, it's a really pretty truck. I don't know that you really need to get bigger tires and wheels on. I think it looks great just the way it is right now. But there's your aftermarket suspension very expensive uh, I will walk around and I will uh, point at anything I see cosmetically in this video that uh, you need to see there's a couple spots that have been touched up that I will show you but generally speaking it looks really really good Let's see I think I saw a little touch up right here little touch up right there it's the right color though so it matches pretty good right here and right there okay let's see there's it's got power boards too running boards stay underneath the truck the point of these videos is not to sell the vehicle by the way it's to make sure that whoever buys it knows what they're buying and uh, understands what they're buying and uh, is getting exactly what they paid for, okay? Um, we could sell this thing over and over and over again if we did it like the other guys and just BS'd and told you how great everything was and didn't point out the problems. Um, in the Carfax, it'll say no accidents reported, but it does say rear damage. And I would say that at some point this rear bumper's been replaced because it's just too perfect, okay? Um, Obviously, no body work anywhere, but that bumper looks too good. So I would say that he backed into something. It wasn't an accident. Look at the bed. The bed, without even a bed liner, looks like nobody's ever put anything more than 10 pounds in it. Um, looks great. Looks like somebody's recently done brakes. There's your rear suspension aftermarket. It looks beautiful. This tip right here is illegal in Arizona. If you're an Arizona buyer, we have to extend it out the side of the truck. So that's gonna go away, just so you know. If you're an Arizona buyer. There's a little ding right there. Very little, but again, my job in these videos is to point that stuff out. Not to leave anything out. So, there's your running board there running board there let's go look at the roof real quick on there let me fire this guy up glow plugs there we go all right 92,262 miles now which would be the trip from Phoenix added to the 91,000 or whatever All right. There's your tuner stuff up here. There's your delete. Play right here. Right. No blow by at all. Excellent. Aftermarket air box. Stickers where they go. Really pretty truck, really pretty truck. 
Alright, there's your... Oh, and I got the window locks on. Crap. Uh, Alright, so, first thing I want to show you is Mannheim Market Report. This is what dealers are paying. I mean, this is what dealers are paying before they sell the vehicle to you. They're paying $26,400 uh, for this vehicle, 92,000 miles. That's what a dealer's paying. So obviously you're paying a little bit more uh, than that, probably 10 or 15% more than that. Um, here's the car gurus. On expensive vehicles, we like you to see this stuff because you, you'll know where you're, where you're going here. 2010 uh, Ram 2500, Laramie Crew Cab, four wheel drive. Good deal, 116,000 miles, which is obviously 24,000 more they say a good deal is 27.9, basically 28,000. A great deal. The 112,000 is 27. So then I'll give you an idea of where we're going here. I can already picture Dennis listing this for 29.9. Um, great deal. Um, 103,000 miles is 26, basically 27,000 um, dollars. There you go. So. Just some comps for you. Here's the Kelly Blue Book, Laramie six and three quarter. That's a short bed, ninety-two thousand miles, thirty-three thousand eight hundred thirty-five is the normal listing price with a range of thirty thousand six hundred to thirty-six thousand. Pretty sure you're going to be buying this thing under thirty, but maybe not. It's up to he does the pricing. He does a lot more research than I do on this topic. Um, history of events affecting this vehicle. I'll show you the rear. I told you about the rear damage. Um, they blend the Carfax and the Kelly. They come up with a value of uh, $30,680. There's your VIN. No accidents, damage reported. Discussed that already. Uh, no major title problems, so it's perfect on that area, right? Here's all the dealer services, great dealer services. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Run to here. It's not an accident. We see nothing, it might be uh, a new bumper. So, basically the moral of that story is don't call your insurance guy when you bump into something and get just go buy a new part or you're gonna cost yourself money because of Carfax. It doesn't help. There's the wheel lock for it. Adapter for the uh, radio, back. Oh god, I got the window locks on. Son of a bitch. I think I'm a slow learner, huh? You got heated rear seats. Power plug back here. So stupid I have the window locks on <laughs> hello they fly there's your bin here tire pressure stuff all right window 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 and see now the window locks are off all right out, in, up, and down, other side, out, in, up, and down, seat forward, back, up, down, seat forward, and back, and you got a tilt wheel here, let me see if I, there you go, there's your tilt wheel, right, all right, let me hop in this guy. And I'm very grateful it doesn't have a moonroof. By the way, just a little tip to people buying vehicles. Don't buy moonroofs. <sighs> I'm so sick and tired of buying the parts to fix moonroofs. They all break. Let's see. There's your rear window. There's your uh, navigation. Let me see if I can figure out how to work the radio. There you go. Oh, I had it. There we go. All right, got the heated seats, air conditioned seats, heated steering wheel, 
passenger side. There's your tuner going right there. Um, what else? Let's see. La la la. Fuel economy. Tires. Let's see. How do you do that? I'll select. There you go. And then you got, let's see. Um, trying to figure out how to messages, fuel economy, radio. Yeah, you get the picture. Let's see. Neutral. Then we go to four low. Now we're in four low. See it? Wow, that is definitely four low. That's granny gear. In reverse and four low. There's your backup camera. Okay. Neutral, four high. Now we're in four high. Drive. And reverse. God, this truck is nice. This is a really nice truck. Neutral. Now we're going to go back to two wheel drive. There you go. All right, you come to Sun and drive it home. You're going to pay the following you're going to pay taxes, which are your state tax rate, whatever that is plus our city of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and uh, ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it. Once we receive the wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address, sign it off to you, scan it in your online file and mail it to you. We even scan in the uh, envelope that we mail it in. Uh, you'll have the vehicle shipped to you. Uh, you'll already have the title in the mail when the truck shows up by your shipper. And uh, you'll just take the truck and the title down to motor vehicles in your state and uh, get plates. It's very simple. If you need help with shipping, at the very beginning of our transaction through the email system that we have, um, ask for Joey. Joey will help you. Um, he brings in all of our vehicles. He helps people. He can either you know do the whole thing for you or he can just tell you if you're getting ripped off or not doing it yourself. Uh, anywhere in between. Okay? So let him know. Um... Deposit is $500. Once we have your $500 deposit, well, it'll no longer be for sale. Until it has a deposit, it is for sale, all right? Last part of every video, I say the same thing. I've said it for 13 years, thousands of vehicles, thousands of videos. You can look at the last two or three minutes of every video and hear the same thing. We don't have salesmen, so you're not paying for that in the price of this truck. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have this fancy location. You just saw where we came from. All we have is a million night vision cameras and cops all over the place every night. That's what we have. We don't have fountains in the auto, in the mall next door. The auto mall here has really nice stuff. I mean, like attendants and scones and lattes and bottled water with their name on it. Um, they got all that stuff and they got the salesman. They got all that stuff. You're paying for all that. I've been there. I know that the, how they roll that stuff into the price. You are paying for it. It's not free. Okay. Um, they also know that if they sold you this truck at the auto mall and something broke, you'd come in and say, fix it. And so they charge you for that up front too. You know, another 500 bucks for a future repair in the next 90 days. Well, we don't charge you for that because we're not doing that. We give you this video, we give you the Kelly, we give you the Carfax, we gave you the car gurus, gave you the Mannheim market report so that you can make a good informed decision so that you can know that you're saving a pound of money. And so that if something breaks, regardless of when, whether it's day one or day 2000, that you'll feel good about fixing it with your money, okay? Um, so that's how why we do it, okay? We're not writing checks for anything from the second you own it on, all right? Now, this truck is beautiful, clearly well-maintained, clearly baby, clearly not used as a truck based on the bed. Um, you know, if I were you, I'd leave these really nice factory wheels on it because it helps the ride. This ride, by the way, this road is like four-wheeling. I don't know if you can see how bad our road is here. And that suspension is just eating up these huge pothole bumps and crap um so uh, very nice truck all right anyway i think that that's about it i'm gonna honk my horn here hopefully i forgot my remote oh there he goes he saw me coming um i think that's about it but this is this is a beautiful truck people i mean i would if someone bought this for me i'd be psyched <laughs> this is a really nice truck Really, really nice truck. You know what? Let me turn on the air. It's on. Uh, let's see. Let's make sure it's sync at first. There we go. I just want to make sure that the air conditioning is blowing cold. There we go. 
before I actually shut this video down. No secrets here, man. That's how we roll. We don't do the secret thing. Um, this is a beautiful truck, man. Wowee. I'm really glad I bought it. I paid a lot for this truck, but you can tell just by looking at it that the previous owner loved it as much as we do now. So, let's see if I can back up using our backup camera, right? There we go. Might as well test the parking sensors while we're here, huh? Let's see if they go off here. Huh. That would be interesting. So it's, I, well, does it even have parking sensors? I think it does have parking sensors. So that is more evidence that he replaced the bumper. So the bumper got hurt and he didn't replace the parking sensors because if it was a factory bumper, the parking sensors would be going off. So there you go. There's your evidence. This is what we do in our videos. We uh, tell you everything, okay? Uh, I think that's about it. Thank you for your time.